Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to uh, share a useful patch uh, for object selection and detection um, greater than four or five, um, whatever is offered in the, the option picker. Um, so the situation that inspired this object, uh, which I'm calling the AND multiplexer because it's designed after the pulse multiplexer, which is available in the asset library. If you go to add assets, import from AR library, you'll find it there, the pulse multiplexer. Um, and what I, what I wanted to do was find a somewhat scalable way to select and isolate objects if I, if I tap on them um, or select them um, beyond four. And it, it started to get more complex. And I'm like, how am I gonna do this? Um, so I'm going to go over a couple things that helped with this project. This is a color sample project in which these little dots have their own, um, they can be dragged and positioned. Um, so they have their own state, state properties um, that I need to keep track of and separate. And I need to know when this one's on and make sure that the, all the others are off and holding their, their state. All right, so the first thing, the most important and fun part about this is wireless communication within the patch editor using the sender and receiver objects. Uh, to create a sender object, let's look at the circle zero. So I'm gonna detect uh, object tab on circle zero. To do that, you can go to producer patch, create interactions in the properties here, and uh, producer patch, and then object tap and it's going to the sender. To create a sender, drag out of your input, type in sender, and whatever you name this by double clicking and renaming it, the sender, whatever you want to call it, it's instantly available to all receiver objects and you just have to select it. Um, so if you go to add patch, receiver, click the little carrot drop down, you'll see the sender. So that signal is being transmitted without the wires um, to make your patches a little uh, less hairy. That's really a, a useful thing, useful tool to sort of keep track of things and um, stay more organized. So that helped a ton, just keeping my head on straight with this project. Um, so let's look at the AND multiplexer for the circle zero instance. Um, so the circle zero is plugged into this master on. Now the way the master on works is if that pulse is detected, it's going to be a Boolean condition true. It's going to send that out there. The output is true. But if any of these taps are detected on any other, any other circle or even a tap uh, reset, which I did as a screen reset, it's going to turn off. So one way to think of this um, selector is if you're on the top floor and you have a, a master switch, um, a light switch that you turn on, um, it's going to turn on all the lights in the house. Um, but on the, on the lower floor, if you have light switches, you say you have 12, 13 light switches, any one of them will turn off all the lights in the house. So there's only one master on, but any number of breaks in the chain can destroy the chain and it will become not true. So let's look at that and how that goes. It's basically the same design as the pulse multiplexer um, with the master on input going to every turn on switch. So if it's selected, it's going to go to every turn on and it's going to light up this and tree um, and create a true signal, a Boolean true. But if any of these inputs gets a pulse turn off, it breaks the tree somewhere and um, makes it not true. And the output is false. So we know that this object that we're testing for is not true. I'll uh, leave a link to that um, patch um, uh, to GitHub. Uh, so if anyone wants to use it, Feel free to grab it. Um, it helped me out a ton. And uh, yeah, that's about it. This is the color sample project, um, or color picker project. And um, I've gone over this in other videos. I'll link to that at the end. But uh, I hope this is helpful if you're trying to detect 
many objects, um, select one from from many. Um, if you have any questions, just uh, send me a message or comment. Thanks.